It's going to read line by line. You can see it down here. It is reading every single one of them. It's going to go into the next note, CD. So now it's right here. And the next one is title. And then you should have hide your heart here soon and so on. So let's go ahead and press F5. And now I'm going to close the XML reader and I'm going to dispose of it. And then of course it's just waiting for, so this is the final result of our little program. It's asking me to press any key to close. Okay, let's continue. Okay, it's done. So that's one way of reading the XML file using the uh, XML reader by using a very manual, very, um, very, very, very low level um, uh, uh, methods in the XML reader. And uh, you would have to pretty much do that throughout the entire document. I mean, you're really reading line by line. You notice I'm not even iterating, I'm not using a for loop or anything like that uh, because there's going to have to be, a, you know, there's going to be a lot of adjustments to be able to capture all the returns in the right place and whatnot. You have to read sequentially, you know, you can't just jump into a next uh, item. Uh, on the next tutorial, when we do XPath, then uh, you'll be able to see that. Okay, let's take a look at the next uh, way of using the XML reader. This is using the move to content uh, uh, methods in here. So let's go ahead and start the demo. So um, once we started the console app, it just calls the move to content um, uh, method, which is just this down here. Um, I still have those two variables. I declare them again, and I have my XML reader object. And then when I move to content, it's going to skip this declaration line. It will also skip any kind of comments you would have in here. Instead of doing, you know, read the first line, read the second, read the third, read the fourth, if you have a bunch of comments or multi-line comments, you can skip directly to the content. And the catalog is the first content. And then you have to do a read line because you still have that uh, that return at the very end. Okay, so then we call move to content again, and then we are on, on the CD line, and then we do a read at the end, and then we move to content again, and then we are at the title line. At that point, we can read the the value. Let's go ahead and do an F11 here. You can see that. Let's go ahead and add this to watch. So let me to watch so you can see down here so once we execute this line we now we have the value of title because uh, the cursor is right here I'm gonna do a read again so it's gonna jump into the next line oh I'm sorry it's not gonna jump into the next line it's just gonna grab the value of course it's just right there the value and then we're gonna read read and then we are gonna jump into the next line which is the artist line right here and um, I dump that into the console app with the console right line in there. Okay. We just keep capturing that information and dumping into the console app. Okay. And I'm going to do that for, I think, two or three more. Um, and close this. Yeah, that's much better. I should have done that much earlier. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to get one more of these, and then I, I dumped it three lines out of the XML. I put it in the console app, putting the element name plus the, uh, the value. And now I'm going, to simply going to, I'm going to simply read the XML file all the way to the end. And then when I'm done reading it, I'll close, I'll dispose, and then at that point, it's simply asking me to press any key so then, I, so then it can finalize the app. There you go. And then we're done with the move to content line. As you notice, it got a little bit smaller than the than the uh, quick uh, the quick read. Uh, you, we don't have to use so many so many um, um, XML readers that uh, read. The process is a little less manual, but it's still it's still it's, it's still pretty low level. You still have to um, pay a lot of attention to the returns and whatnot. Okay, let's check out the next method, which is the uh, 
read start element. This is also part of the XML reader. Go ahead and put the uh, breakpoint here to start with. So F11 is going to hit the uh, read uh, next read start element, and I'm going to declare the XML reader right here. And then at that point, I'm going to call the read start element catalog, and it's going to go to that um, to that very item. Then I'm going to call the CB one. So it goes there, and you can see the XML reader. It goes to the very end of it. And now we are on the title. So we're skipping a lot of things. I mean, we have a lot less code now, so we, we, we're able to move and document a lot faster, OK? And once I, I hit that item, the restart element, the title, I can go ahead and just query the value out of it, the XML reader value right here. And then I'm simply dumping that to the screen, title equals empire. I still have to read the uh, return. And then the um, I'm going to read this last element. Out then I'll do the same with the artist. And then the same thing with country. And then once I have that information on uh, the XML file, you can see it's exactly the same as we saw it earlier. I'm just going to read the data all the way to the end. I'm going to close dispose and can go ahead and then uh, simply close the file. Okay, next one. So the idea here is that uh, you can see that we're starting to move a lot faster through the XML file uh, returning the data. This one, the read element string, it's, it's the fastest way for us to navigate the, the XML file. I have some lighting here. Well, yes, that's the fastest way for us to, um, it's the fastest way to code um, in the, uh, our little console app here. Uh, to query the XML file. So let's go ahead and press F5. And now we're going to be using the read element string out of the XML reader. So I'm going to call the same thing as we called earlier, the read start element. And then when I am in here already, I'm, I'm past the CD, right? I'm, I'm right at this point. Look, at the XML reader is at the uh, is at the uh, return tab tab, okay? That's where the cursor is. At that point, I am going to call this XML reader that read element string. So I'm gonna get the value out of the title already, okay? So by calling that, now I have the value in here, okay? And then I can call the next line, the artist one. I also can call the country. And so look at this. Look at this method compared to the first and the second one. In, in barely five lines of code, I was able to pretty much uh, get to the same information that took me you know, a couple dozen of lines um, early in the document. And then you know, it could simply continue to get the company, the price, the year, and so on. At this point, I'm just going to read the document all the way to the end here. And this, is, and this, will, be, this will be the easiest way for you to read the file. Okay. Is the one that makes the most sense at least. And okay, now we're done. So let's take a look at a demo on how to read the entire uh, the entire document without um, without stopping. And let's go ahead and press F five. And the way I implemented this was using the uh, read element string. I did have to do a little bit of uh, manipulation here at the end. I had to check if I was, because at the very bottom here, you can see once we get in here, it becomes pretty simple. It's the same iteration, okay? So iterate through this, and then you iterate through this, and you iterate through this. So it's the same thing. But now it comes to the end of the document, and then we have the catalog in here. And so we have to check, okay? So we start a new XML reader. Uh, go to the very beginning of the go to the very beginning of the catalog, okay, and then read the next uh, start element. So then uh, we are here. We read this entire element, and then we are here right now because this is so backslash backslash n. This is the return character. So it puts us on this line, 
and then backslash t backslash t there are two tabs so this is the first tab and then here's the second tab so you put us on the very at the very beginning of the title okay uh, the XML reader has this in the file and so what I'm saying in here is while in the file is still false while we're not done reading the file keep iterating keep iterating and so we're gonna keep dumping data into the uh, into the console app and then I'm going to do the same thing I did in the previous demo. I'm simply, I'm simply hitting each one of the notes, and then I'm dumping the data into the console app. When I'm done dumping this CD, I'm just going to simply add um, an additional line. And at the very end here, so this is the, uh, this is the return tab, right? Well, it's right at the very top. So this is... Um, backslash n, so then we end up in this line, and then we have a tab in there. And then I say, if this is the local element, then read end because this is, you know, we're closing the element, and then do an enter. We're going to get into this element now, and so we start an element, and now that we're here, we're going to read the title element and now we're back the local name is not catalog so now we're back into the loop and now we can go ahead and just dump that data again and now we have CD number two right here okay I'm just going to put a breakpoint here and I'm gonna latch the app run and you can see that we have all of our information here to make this a bit smaller. No need to be. And we got to the very end of our information. We we have all the files in here. So you see, this is Unchain My Heart. That's the very last song, the very last CD. And this is what we have here. We have the Unchain My Heart, the very last one. Okay. And now we're going to go through these lines. And it's just asking us to press any key to close. Okay, so that's a very quick and straightforward demo on how to read data out of the uh, XML file. Uh, next, let's take a look at the XPath, and it just allows us to jump into different parts of the document, uh, not in a uh, sequential way like that. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video if you if you did. Bye bye.